everyone this is another video from easy electric series today we will talk about the binary to seven segment code converter so in previous video we actually used the, the 74ls47 IC which was the BCD to seven segment code converter and we are able to convert the BCD codes to to one seven segment so today we want to actually have one binary to seven segment code converter so that means we want to actually have two seven segment and the four bit binary so whenever you give any binary numbers with the four bits you're able to see that on these two seven segment so that means if we want to actually summarize what we actually want to design we need actually one the binary we call that binary to seven segment code converter so definitely how many inputs we should have we need actually just four bit binary numbers here in the input so we want to actually have two seven segment this is actually the first one this is the second one and definitely this should be connect to both of them so whenever you give any numbers four bit binary you should see that number on the on the decimal on your seven segment for example so whenever i give one zero 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 here i need to see actually zero 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 eight let i write here zero eight here okay so whenever you give all four another example i expect to see 15 on my seven segment okay so let's to see how we could design this so first let to see which tools we are going to use so the first one is we have 74 ls 47 which is the bcd to seven segment code converter we have two of them we label number one number two we need two seven segment this is number one this is number two they actually got the label so definitely we just need four bits as an input for our binary to seven segment code converter but here whenever you use 274 ls47 you have actually eight right so these are the bcd inputs so the first one we label the input for the first the bcd to seven segment converter d1 c1 b1 a1 for the second one d2 c2 a p2 and a2 so so somehow we need to design a combinational circuit that able to, could do whatever we want here right whenever we go over nine we should actually able to see that number on these two seven segment so that's actually a typical combinational uh, combinational logic circuit design problem which we have in our uh, previous videos i explained how you could design any combinational circuit so here this is a case so we say okay we want to design a combinational circuit so how many inputs i have so what i want to have is just four input i label them d c b a okay so but what really i have because i use 274 ls47 so that means i have a, eight here eight pins for these two which i consider them as an output so i say okay i have eight output the first is d1 c1 b1 a1 which is these pins here and the next one is d2 c2 b2 a2 which is the pins for the second 74 ls 47 ic's okay so i want to see how you i could design these output based of these inputs that i have and uh, what i want to do i want to able to see the seven the decimal uh, equivalent of the binary inputs on these two seven seven, seven segment okay so back to this uh, design problem uh, truth table you say okay i have four inputs i call dcba so each of them could be zero and one so you have 16 different beats pattern here so i just list all of them here 
So I actually consider eight output, which is somehow is the input of the BCT27 segment converter. So I want to see what I should connect to that inputs, okay? So in my combinational design, I consider them as an output. I say, okay, I have these eight output, which is related to these four input and complete these through stable. I say, okay, whenever I have zero, zero, what I should have on these two seven segment. So whenever I give four zero here, what you should have here in these two seven segment, whenever this is four zero, Definitely you should have zero and zero. So that means what I should give to the first one, definitely I should give the zero. If I give four zero, so definitely it's able to represent zero here. If I give four zero for the second one, I have zero here. So that's the reason I say, okay, D1, C1, B1, A1 in this case should be four zero, D2, C2, B2, A2 should be zero because I want to make zero zero, okay? So next, whenever it is zero, 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 one, that means these input, what I should have on the two seven segment, the one on the left should be zero, this should be one, okay? So that means I need to give four zero in the first one that able to have a zero here. And the next one should be here, I should have zero, zero, one, which is the PCD one, and it's able to have one here. So C zero, one, makes sense. So next is zero, zero, one, zero, which is two. So definitely the first seven segment will be zero. The next one should be two. That's what you have two. So you actually have the similar situation for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that means the left seven segment should be zero. For that reason, the input of that, um, that uh, BCD to seven segment converter is zero and the next one should be nine because I want to actually have zero nine. But this is actually important. Whenever you have 10, so definitely this BCD to seven segment, that means 74 LS 47, it's whenever the here is nine, so definitely it's able to show nine on the seven segment. But whenever you have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, definitely their output is the error, right? Because in the BCD, you don't have any 10, you don't have the 11. So that's what you need to careful in your design. So see, until nine, I give just the left one should be zero, the right one should be nine. So no problem until nine. But what should be happen whenever the input is 10? So whenever input is 10, so see the left seven segment should be one and the right seven segment should be zero, right? So then I have 10 on two seven segments. So that means left one should be one. So I give zero, 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 one to the left one and the right one should be zero. So I give input to the right actually uh, converter should be zero. So similar for the other. So see, this is 11. So that means you should have one and one. So that means one should be the input for first 74 LS 47 IC. Again, one should be for the second one. For 12, you should have one, two. For 13, you should have one, three. For 14, you should have one, four. And for 15, you should have one, five. For this reason, the input of these four input this one should be one and this should be five okay so i actually complete my truth table next step is consider each of these inputs as a output for your beast to output to binary to actually seven segment circuit okay so you consider each of them as an output which is they are a function of dcba so that means you check this column. For example, you want actually see D1. Check this column D1. So if you check D1, C1, and B1, so see these B1, D1, and C1 all the time is zero. So for that reason, I write D1, C1, and B1, it is equal to the zero. So then back to this circuit, I say B1, C1, D1, it should be zero. That's the reason I connect this to the ground, okay? So go and check A. So let's do check A1. 
So again, you say A1 is the function of DCBA, so it should be equal to, you just geez, check this column. The A1 I have actually here, the A1 is sigma midterm, which midterm? So if you check this column, it should be midterm 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and the last one is 15, okay? So that's what I write here. A1 is sigma midterm 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then I use the K map, which is here, to just put 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I got actually two set with the four members. I made that simple. So, and the simplest form is A1 equal DC plus DB, okay? So I just implement this. That means I connect A1 to DC and DB. So if you back to here, so see the A1 that you have here, it is, I first put the OR and it is DC plus DP, okay? So that's the reason I connect this to this. So similar to the others, go to them, this is A1. So, so let you actually do for D2, check the column of the D2. So D2 is Sigma M, eight and the nine so this is eight this is nine the rest is zero so is sigma m eight and nine i use the k map so you could take care of the k map we already talked about the k map so if you do that the simplest form for d2 is dc prime b prime you just implement this on your uh, circuit so if you check d2 so which is d2 here is a b prime C prime D, okay, I connect this to this function that you see. So definitely all A, B, C, D, you just have four input, right? A, B, C, D, but I don't want to actually make my actually drawing very busy. And for that reason, I actually use separate D, but all of them is connected to each other. We have just one A, B, C, and D. So, Okay, we actually talk about D2, let's do check C2, the similar you check the C2, C2 is sigma midterm, wherever the function is 1, which is this, this place, which is sigma 4, 5, 6, and 15, and 14. So you see this, the C2 is sigma 4, 5, 6, 7, 15, 15 and 14. We actually use the K-map and you end up with the simplest form of the C2, which is D prime C plus CB. So if you check our design, the C2 actually connected to the OR. And one of them is D prime C and the next one actually is CB. So that's the reason you have this here. And the next is B2, similar to the others. You check this column and you say, okay, B2 is sigma midterm, which midterm? 2, 3, uh, 6, 7, 12, and 13 is the location that this function is 1. So then similar with the others, you use the K-map and your simplest form of the B2 is this, which is D prime B plus D C B prime. So if you back to our design, you see the B2 connected to, this is the OR, one side of the OR is actually D. So the B2 should be D prime. So definitely this is typo, there is no prime here. So this input is the D because we use actually the not, okay? So we could actually correct that. So definitely this should be just a D, not D prime, okay? So is a D, then you have the not, so that means you have D prime B. So in the other side, you have B prime CD. So B prime CD, which is right. So, and the last one is A2. So if you check the column of the A2, it is sigma 1, 3, 5, 7, 13, 15, 9, and 11 is the location that this function is 1. So you use the K map and the simplest form is A2 equal A. So that means these A2 should be directly connected to the A. So that's it. You actually design a binary to seven segment code converter. So that means whenever you give any value to A, B, C, D, you should see that value in these two seven segment. So I actually have here, I simulate the design that makes sure we actually did everything actually is right. So this is actually the same 
design that we have you have 274 ls 47d this is one this is two this one connected to the one seven segment this is connected to the other one these are actually the common anode so that means these are the anode connected to the vcc and these are connected to the first actually 74 ls 47 this is to the second one so exactly similar with what we had in our design so c b c d from the first one is zero so the a a1 which is this is one this is two so the a1 connected to the dc plus db so this is whatever you have here is actually dc plus db the similar with what we ex implement exactly with what we got from our design okay so i implement exactly the same function so i put four switch here for actually for d c b and a so this is actually the highest value bit that this is the lowest value bit so that means whenever i give i start with actually i actually put all of them zero i want to check so this is my four bit binary it should be actually shows whatever we have here should be actually the decimal of whatever you have here as a four input okay so whenever all of them is zero so again this part of the switch is zero the upper part is a one so all of them is zero you have zero zero i put one so you see this is zero one that's what we expect two that's right whenever this is one it should be two three these two should be one that's three right that's right four so these two should be zero this is, should be on four is right five i need to turn on this this is five right go to the six should be four plus two this is six that's right seven is four plus two plus one that's right so check the eight so the all these should be zero this should be one is right so the nine is eight plus one this is nine that's right so see this is actually the cool things right now i have nine in the previous video whenever you use just one of them which is bcd to the uh, seven segment after nine you got the error but the cool things about our new design is right now we are on nine so right now i'm moving to ten ten is eight plus two so i put this zero and this is ten eight plus two ten you have ten so see how cool it is so then is 11 so 11 is 8 plus 2 plus 1 so that's 11 so then 12 12 should be 8 plus 4 so this is 8 this is 4 is 12 that's right 13 is 8 plus 4 plus 1 this is 13 and 12 is 8 plus 4 plus 2 so this is actually is 14 i don't know did we did 13 let me just check that 8 is 13 which is 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13 yes it works so 14 is actually is 8 plus 4 plus 2 is 14 and the 15 is actually the all of them is 1 should be 15 so this is actually the circuit that you dot design which is a binary to actually 27 segment and it's able to convert to the binary and display that on the 27 segment which is the decimal number you could actually keep this in some part of your breadboard so this is actually a nice beast binary to actually seven segment or in more general we could say binary to decimal converter right so whenever you you have the four output binary so you could connect to this circuit and it's convert your binary number to base 10 or the decimal so thank you so much for watching this video